Hello you guys, it's Katie and welcome back to another video. Today's video I have a combined yarn haul for you guys for some Joanne yarns as well as some Michaels yarns that I have bought recently. So for the Joanne yarns, I did do a pickup order in store. They were on sale already. Plus I used a pickup order coupon to get 20% off the pickup order. So combined, I believe it made each yarn like six, 74 or something like that I want to say so I restocked on some colors that I needed so I'm going to go ahead and start out with showing you those first so each one of the yarns I got is Burnett Blanket, Burnett Baby Blanket which are all the same breakdown so I'm going to share that with you once so Burnett Blanket is by Yarn Inspirations and it is 10.5 ounces 300 grams 220 yards, 201 meters. It's 100% polyester, a super bulky number six. Suggest eight millimeter knitting needles or eight millimeter crochet hook. And this is the color Smoky Green, which I got two of because this is the color that I use for my crochet pickles. And first off, I'm almost out of it. And second off, the pickles have been selling really well for me at my markets recently. So I obviously wanted to restock this color while it was on sale. Next, we have Burnett Blanket Brights, which again is the same breakdown as all the Burnett Blankets. And this is the color Carrot Orange. Throughout the fall season, I've made a bunch of pumpkins with this, so I was running low on it. Next, we have Burnett Baby Blanket in the color Baby Blue Green, which is one that I use pretty often for snakes and octos and even whales and lots of different things. Next, we have another brights one and this is the color water slide which is one of my favorite yarns in general that burnett blanket makes i think it's so cool with all the different blues in it and last time i went in person to my joanne they didn't have it so i went ahead and restocked while they did have it next we have the color stormy ocean which is from regular burnett blanket Again, another one that I like to use a lot for snakes and octos and all kinds of stuff like that. Next, we have one that is from the Speckled line, and this is the color Typewriter. I've been making a ton of chickens, which have also been selling really well for me at markets. So, of course, I needed to restock on this color to make more chickens. Second to last Joanne yarn is this one in Baby Blanket, and this is the color Pretty Girl. A color I really love and use a lot of. And this final one here is the color Baby Lilac in Baby Blanket. And it is just a color that I also use quite often for lots of different things. So of course I needed to restock on it. So that is my Joanne yarns piled up here. Now we're going to get on to the Michaels yarns, which all of these Michaels yarns I ordered online and had shipped to me because all the Michaels that are close to me never have good stock and it happened to be 30% off all yarn so I was like I'm gonna buy some yarn online so that I'm guaranteed that there's good stock and I can get the colors that I need. So it came in two separate packages even though I ordered it all at once so actually it came in three separate ones but I have this one that came by itself just in this package with Two more that are in here but anyways for all of these i ordered chanel home slim or sweet snuggles light which are ones that you can use interchangeably so this is chanel home slim by loops in threads this is the color black and white tweed it is a super bulky number six suggest eight millimeter crochet hook or six and a half millimeter knitting needles it is seven ounces 175 yards 160 grams 200 meters and again this is the black and white tweed color which i saw some people make some really cute stuff with this specifically a cookies and cream cow which i've made in the past with blanket yarn but i thought it'd be cool to do in chanel home slim as well so i got it while i was on sale and this multicolored one I think is smaller than the regular skeins. So I also have in this bag that these two came together, regular Chanel Home Slim and the skeins are bigger for the solid color ones. So the skein size for this is 8.5 ounces, 
218 yards, 200 meters, and 250 grams. So I have two of these, and this is the color sand, which I use this as well as the green, which should be in the box I'm gonna open in a minute. I use these for Baby Yoda, and I haven't been able to find either of those colors in such a long time in person, so that's why I just went ahead and bought them online, because I do really love them for that. And I, like I said, haven't been able to find them. I've been making them with blanket yarn, which it works with blanket yarn, but I don't know. I just like how it comes out with that. So that is those, and now we're going to move on to the Michaels box, which is pretty big, <laughs> as you can see. So, like I said, I went ahead and ordered kind of a lot because it was on sale and because I haven't been able to find these in person in a long time. I've gone to a few different Michaels the past like few months just looking like while I'm in the area and stuff and haven't found any. That's why you guys haven't seen any Michaels yarn hauls in a while. All right. Oh, this has new packaging on these. These are the old ones then. I guess that's why they came separate because that's the old packaging and these ones have the new packaging. Okay, so for Chenille Home Slim, again, it's the same breakdown as the tan ones I just showed you. And this is the color. I think the color is called Mustard. Yes, they have the color name in a different spot on the package, but it is called mustard i got three of these which does that seem obsessive yes and it is a little bit but this is my chicken nugget color and again that's another item that has been selling super well for me so i needed some more of these like i have zero of this yarn so i got three of them next we have two of this green color which is called agave agave i don't know i'm not good with words <laughs> But anyways, another color that every time I go to Michael's in my area, they never have it. And again, I like to make Baby Yoda with these two colors. So, I got these two. My yarn pile back here is getting a little crazy. Okay. The rest of the yarns I have here are all Sweet Snuggles Light. But they do have the same breakdown as the Chanel Home Slim. So, we have the color ice green which I thought was really pretty I don't even know if I have this one to be honest but while I was on sale I was like I'm gonna just put it in the cart <laughs> so that's what I did and I do think it's really pretty next is the color gray it's just called gray and it's a pale gray which I thought would be pretty for maybe like an elephant or something I feel like it'd be really cute with this then we have the color turquoise which is this bright blue and i love it so much i feel like there's not very many colors like this in other yarn brands like i don't think burnett really has one that's like similar to this shade so of course had to get it <laughs> and the final yarn i have to share with you guys in today's haul is this Sweet Snuggles Light that is in the color Carnival Multi. And this is the same breakdown as the other multicolored one I showed you first for the Chino Home Slim. And they're both seven ounces, 174 yards. So this is the color Carnival Multi. And again, another one that I just thought was cool. And it is white, blue, yellow, and like a peachy color in there. So that is all for the yarns, you guys, that I have in today's haul, which is a lot. A lot of like the same ones, obviously, because we have Sweet Snuggles Light and Chenille Home Slim, and then we have Burnett. But a lot for stuff I needed to restock and just stuff I wanted to get in general because it was on sale. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and organize this like I typically do at the end of my hauls. And then that'll be all for today's video.
All right, you guys, that is all for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below which color yarn I got was your favorite. And as always, I would love to hear some project ideas you think I should make with these yarns or let me know some yarns you've bought recently because I always love chatting about all of that with you guys in the comments section below. Now, if you guys do want to see more videos like this one in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the post notification bell that way you know every single time I upload a brand new video. And if you guys do want to see more from me in general, of course, you can check out more videos of mine, my blog, my Etsy shop, my Ribbler shop, all of my social medias, my second channel, all of that is always included in the description box of every single video for you guys. As well as for today, I will have links to all of the yarns below for you. So with all of that, thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I will see you guys here in the next one. Goodbye.